Bernard Hinault, The Badger's Legacy, The Unyielding Journey of Bernard Hinault. Welcome, cycling fans, to another episode of Pedal Heroes, where we celebrate the legends of the pro peloton. I'm Chris Wheelman, your host, and today we'll explore the saga of Bernard Hinault. Known as Le Bleu or Le Badger, a moniker which reflects not only his combative racing style, but also his gritty resilience. Hinault's story is one of unmatched victories, formidable rivalries, and a relentless pursuit of cycling perfection. A Cycling Phenom Born on November 14, 1954, in the rugged region of Brittany, France, Bernard Hinault's introduction to cycling was almost predestined. Known to have strong cycling culture, Brittany shaped Hino into a fierce competitor. From his early days, Hino displayed a tremendous talent and an unwavering work ethic. This quickly resulted in him ascending from local races to the professional circuit by 1975 at 19 years old. His early career was marked by rapid success, signaling the rise of a cyclist who had the potential to redefine the sport. Hino's blend of physical power, tactical shrewdness, and an almost unrivaled pain threshold set him apart from his peers and struck fear into his competitors. A Legendary Palmaris Bernard's career achievements are nothing short of legendary. His name is etched across the records of cycling history, highlighted by dominating the Tour de France with five victories in 1978, 1979, 1981, 1982, and 1985, conquering the Giro d'Italia winning three times in 1980, 1982, and 1985, and success at the Vuelta a España with two wins in 1978 and 1983. This made Hino an annual favorite to any Grand Tour he pinned his number on for. Further cementing his status as a world-class athlete, he has victories in the UCI Road World Championships in 1980 and many triumphs in one-day classics, including Liège-Bastogne-Liège in 1977 and 1980, Ghent-Wevelgem in 1977, La flesh wallonde in 1978 and 1983, Giro de Lombardia in 1979 and 1984, Amstel Gold Race in 1981. This further illustrates his skill across different race formats and all race conditions. The Warrior's Path He knows racing style is best characterized by his aggressive tactics and his refusal to be intimidated by the competition or the course. He was known for bold attacks, often purposefully in the most challenging conditions, whether it was the cobble sectors of Perry roubaix or the steep climbs of the Alps in the Pyrenees. His training regime was ahead of its time and equally rigorous. There was a focus on incorporating advanced techniques on nutrition and recovery. He knows approach to racing and preparation influenced the generation to follow, yet again setting a new standard in the professional peloton for what it meant to be a champion. Battles and Brotherhood Throughout his career, Hino engaged in memorable rivalries that captivated the cycling world. His battles with Greg LeMond, particularly during the 1986 Tour de France, this is the stuff of cycling lore. It successfully blended fierce competition with an underlying respect that defined the era. Beyond the race course, Hino's leadership could also be seen advocating for cycling rights and safety, contributing to significant improvements in conditions. His influence directly helped shape the modern era of the sport and a safer future for riders to come. Legendary Impact The legacy of Bernard Hido transcends victories and confrontations. It's found in the enduring image of a cyclist who embodied the spirit of competition, who raced with heart and soul, and whose contributions have left an unforgettable mark on the sport. Hino's story is a testament to the power of adaptability, the importance of passion, and the unyielding pursuit of excellence. For cyclists and sports enthusiasts alike, his career serves as a reminder to what it means to compete with integrity and determination. As we conclude this journey through the remarkable career of Bernard Hino, let's reflect on the lessons of his legacy. The value of hard work, the importance of embracing challenges, and the enduring spirit of sportsmanship. Thank you for joining me, Chris Wheelman, and paying tribute to one of cycling's standout champions. May the story of the Badger inspire you to chase your dreams with the same intensity and the same tenacity.